हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एपीजी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर आशीष सहजपाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम यूनिवर्सिटी बिजनेस स्कूल पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी रीजनल सेंटर लुधियाना टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मॉड्यूल ट्रांजैक्शन प्रोसेसिंग अंडर द पेपर मैनेजमेंट इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस मॉड्यूल द स्टूडेंट्स वुड बी एबल टू डिवेलप एन अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन प्रोसेसिंग सिस्टम लिस्ट वेरियस फीचर्स एंड करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ TPS discuss the transaction process processing cycle and its components understand various type of transaction processing and requirement of transaction processing understand how TPS differ from MIS and ESS in terms of application discuss various industry wide application of transaction process systems with the buying in a store or buying online everything is geared around a transaction the basic exchange of money for good or services one may purchase a new shirt and take it to the checkout hand over some cash and leave the store with the purchase in a bag that's a transaction it works in a similar way while buying online but there's one important difference you never actually get to handle the goods until they arrive at your home sometime later with increasing use of electronic commerce and mobile computing the importance of transaction processing continues to increase in simplest term a transaction is interaction between or amongst two or more parties for the conduct of business a transaction is defined as the event involving the action of one entity on another how a company decides to manage this transaction can be an important factor in its success careful planning is essential to ensure that the transaction management does not become too complex transaction processing is a tool that can help growing business deal with their increasing number of transactions a transaction processing system captures enters store retrieves and process the relevant detail of business events and generates the information and documents necessary for running the business the main purpose behind capturing this transaction data is to support day to day routine operations by being made available where it is needed secondly to feed the management reporting system and produce performance reports about the effectiveness and efficiency of operation transaction processing system supports the three levels of an organization activity that is operational managerial and strategic tps are the backbone of an organization information system the data captured are input data to functional information system application like customer relationship management enterprise resource planning and dss example of transactional processing includes automated teller machine credit card authorization online billing payment self checkout stations at grocery stores the trading of stocks over the internet and various other forms of electronic commerce primarily the goal of tps is to provide all the information needed by law and organizational policy to keep the business running properly and efficiently the purpose of installing a tps is to keep records about the state of the organization further to process the transactions that affect the records and to produce output that shall process reports on the transactions that have occurred transaction processing systems are often so central to a business that tps failure for a few hours can lead to firms demise and perhaps that of other firms linked to it imagine what would happen to fedex if its package tracking system were not working 
what would be the airlines do without their computerized reservation system managers need tps to monitor the status of internal operations and firms relationship with external environment tps are also major producer of information for other types of system let us understand the features of transaction processing systems the success of business organizations depend on the reliable processing of transactions to ensure that customer orders are fulfilled on time and payment for partners and suppliers are processed timely transaction processing system offer enterprises the means to rapidly process business critical transactions to ensure the smooth flow of data and the progression of processes throughout the enterprise the tps will exhibit the following characteristics the first the rapid processing rapid processing of transaction is inevitable for the success of any enterprise in the face of advancing technology and customer demand for immediate action tps systems are designed to process transactions virtually instantly to ensure that customer data is available to the processes that require it reliability the business cannot afford to make mistake hence the stakes on business transactions are high tps systems are therefore designed to incorporate comprehensive safeguards and disaster recovery system this measures keep the failure rate well within tolerant level standardization transactions must be processed in the same way each time to maximize efficiency hence tps interface are designed to acquire identical data for each transaction regardless of customer lastly the control access it is imperative that access to transaction data must be restricted to only those employees who require their use restricted access to the system ensures that employees who lack the skills and ability to control it cannot influence the transaction process transactions processing qualifiers in order to qualify as a tps transactions made by the system must pass the sa test referring to the following four prerequisites atomicity atomicity means that a transaction is either completed in full or not at all for example if the funds are transferred from one account to another this only counts as a bona fide transaction if both the withdrawal and deposits take place if one account is debited and the other is not credited it does not qualify as a transaction tps system ensures that the transaction takes place in their in their entirety the second is consistency the tps system exists within a set of operating rules or integrity constraints if an integrity constraint states that all transactions in the database must have a positive value any transaction with a negative value would be refused the third is isolation transaction must appear to take place in isolation for example when a fund transfer is made between two accounts the debiting of one and the crediting of another must appear to take place simultaneously the funds cannot be credited to an account before they are debited from another the fourth is durability once the transactions are completed they cannot be undone to ensure that this is the case even if tps suffers failure a log will be created to document all completed transactions these four conditions ensures that tps systems carry out their transaction the transactions in a methodological standardized and reliable manner let us now try to focus on the transaction process cycle which includes five different steps the very first is that of the data collection the first step in data processing is to capture the data this capture is usually triggered by a business activity 
data is entered about the event that occurred the resources affected by the event and the agents who participated the next stage or the step includes is the data editing checking the validity of the data entered typical validity test includes checking for missing data items valid codes and valid values more extensive validation may entails authorization of the transaction based on customers record and available inventory data correction it is implemented if an error is found in the entered data the fourth step is that of data manipulation once data about a business activity has been collected and entered into a system it must be processed four different types of file processings are updating data changing data adding data and deleting data the three approaches to updating files are batch processing real time processing and online batch processing and the very last process or the stages of data storage which is a crucial step in any data processing procedure the processed results are stored for use as input data in the future a unified set of data storage is called a file which consists of records a collection of file forms a database it implies the alteration of databases that reflect the transaction dear students let us now focus on the components of transaction processing system people are an important component of tcs they can be classified as users users of a tps takes the data provided by the tps and use it in another type of information system this is a main feature of tps participants are the people who conduct the information processing they need to know what to do how to do it and when to do it they have an essential role in a tps and the success or failure of the system is dependent on them people from the environment are participants in real time processing system as they directly enter transaction and perform validation for example book an online air ticket you are the participant of tps the second is the input inputs these are source documents such as customer order invoices purchase orders etc serves as an input to the tps system processing once the inputs are provided they are further processed to get an output the next comes in the storage ledgers serves as a source of storage and finally an output which refers to any document generated in term is termed as output further we will be talking about the types of transaction processing there are three ways to process transactions using batches in real time and online the batch processing system all transactions for a period of time would be collected in a group called a batch input and processed as a unit data for all transactions to be processed is brought together and processed in a group a grocery store may update its sales record every day after the store closes on a payroll system may process all time cards every 2 weeks to determine employees earnings and produce paychecks whatever shall be the time period in a batch system there is some time delay between actual event and the processing of transaction to update the records of the organization batch processing is used in producing utility bills that is electricity water payroll stock control and monthly credit statements marking multiple choice examination paper and so on since in this scenario collected jobs are loaded into the computer and then computer finishes the processing without human intervention real time processing system the biggest problem with batch processing is that 
the master file is never current hence lies the need to enable transaction to be processed immediately as they occur without any delay to accumulate transaction real time processing is used in areas such as warning system on aircraft guiding missiles to their target bugler alarm flood alarming system security control in such cases sensors are used rather than human input to obtain data real time processing is used along with control systems to ensure there is response to input without any delays online transaction processing real time processing is also referred to as online transaction processing or oltp in this case the record in the system always reflects the current status online transaction processing is interactive and each transaction is processed as it occurs the user communicates directly with the computer system files are always current when online processing is used the backdrop of ol tp is the highest cost associated with the necessary security and fault tolerance feature a person enters the data for a transaction into a system where it is processed and the output is received before the next input is entered oltp occurs in scenarios such as purchasing good on the internet to calculate how many times how many items are left in stock number of items a person has added to his cart atms to recalculate how much money is left in the account booking systems and ticket reservation while real time processing is often more efficient in some cases necessarily batch processing may be more effective on to the requirements of transactional processing communication between parties involved in a transaction is often done over a computer network such as internet such as internet this is transaction processing which refers to the processing of business transaction by computers connected by computer networks there are many requirements on computer based transaction processing such as executive multiple operations considering the purchase of a book from flipkart one operation records the payment and another operations record the commitment to ship the item to the customer this should consider the scalability reliability and cost enter that enters the picture transaction volume and data base size adds complexity and undermines efficiency a situation of delay due to a sales person waiting for cash register terminal to respond or because it takes too long to download a web page is not unusual the aim is to serve customer quickly and with least cost then is the building robust system it is imperative for transaction to execute concurrently uncontrolled concurrent transaction can generate wrong answers while booking a concert simultaneous operations are competing to reserve the seats it's important that only one customer is assigned to each seat the next a transaction must run in its entirety any item or any item on record should either be exchanged for money or not sold at all it is important to avoid partially completed work such as accepting payment and not shipping the item or vice versa a transaction should either return an acknowledgement executed or return a negative acknowledgement that it did not execute scalability as a business grows it must increase its capacity for running transactions by making an incremental purchase not by replacing its current machine by a bigger one or by rebuilding the 
application to handle the increased workload. Systems that run transaction are often mission critical to the business activities they support. The next is backup. Records of transactions must be permanent and authoritative. This is often a legal requirement as in financial transactions, transactions must never be lost. Geo redundant. The system should operate well in geographically distributed environment. Often this implies that the system itself is distributed with machine at multiple location. A system must operate in country where business is performed. Other times, distributed processing is used to meet technical requirements such as efficiency, incremental scalability, and resistance to failure. The last is the customer profile. The system should be able to personalize each user's online experience based on past usage pattern. For a retail customer, it should identify relevant discounts and advertisements and offer products customized to that user. Now we'll be looking at how the TPS are different from MIS and ESS, where MIS stands for Management Information System and ESS is the Executive Support System. The following figure illustrates the hierarchical level of information systems where the transaction processing systems lies at the bottom that is at the operational level the management information system is at the technical level and the executive support system is at the strategic level which lies at the top transaction processing system a tps is responsible for collecting storing modifying and retrieving data pertaining to the transaction in an organization and finally generate reports which are used by other levels of management. The characteristics of TPS includes performance, reliability and consistency. Transaction processing systems are usually used at the operational level by employees who are at the bottom level of an organizational hierarchy. An example of TPS is a point of sale in a supermarket such as a big bazaar which is used to record each sales transaction which takes place in the supermarket. At the end of the day, a record of all transaction can be generated from TPS in order to view which product have been sold. The next level of information system is the management information system. It is a system which brings together people, the management, information, as well as the systems, both hardware and software. Such a system facilitates the operations, management, and decision-making functions such as planning, controlling, organizing, and staffing. Management information systems are usually used at the technical level by employees who are at the middle level of the organization management hierarchy. At the top is the executive support system. It is a system in an organization to provide summarized information in form of graphs or charts customized for the organization's executives. Executives address non-routine and unstructured decisions which usually require judgment, valuation, and insight. ESS usually draw summarized information from other MIS at the lower level of management such as transactional processing system. An example of an executive support system is an expert system or knowledge based system which can be used for sales forecasting and perhaps leads to review of business strategy. Executive support systems are usually useful to the employees who are at the topmost strategic level of organization management hierarchy such as senior managers. Let us now take into consideration the business application of transaction processing. The very first example, that of McDonald's. McDonald's sells a large number of burgers every day and order raw material from its suppliers. Each time the company places an order with a supplier, 
a transaction occurs and the transaction system records relevant information supplier's name address and credit rating the type and quantity of item purchased and the invoiced amount succeeding in today's competitive world requires architectural innovation business agility to drive away factors that eliminate inefficiency and extra cost the underlying aim is to utilize real time information to make better business decisions that optimize return on investment in the hotel industry the room occupancy is a clear measure of competitive efficiency at taj group business intelligence looks at privileged member status and dynamic pricing model than mere availability the terms of stay may quickly reflect what extra the customer may be offered as a privileged or complimentary deal service for a platinum member his service shall be upgraded on the room inventory side system also consider room location preferences and in case they are overbooked or undersold further the system intelligence comes in a best yield best price scenario for the hotel chain and the customer in less than a second the main aim for the transaction processing is to offer newer portfolio of services that attract customer and maintain their loyalty the room reservation system requires the transaction through throughput to be rapid and unfailing 24/7 from anywhere with absolute and shift fail over further a payroll system in is essential for an organization it is essential to keep track of the money paid to the employees as per their compensation package and terms of service a master file comprises discrete pieces of information such as name address or employee number called data element data are keyed into the system updating the data element the elements on the master files are combined in different ways to make up reports of interest to management and government agencies and to send pay packages to the employees these tps can generate other report combination of existing data element a payroll system is a typically counting tps that processes transactions such as employee time card and changes in employees salary and deduction it keeps track of money paid to employees withholding taxes and paychecks the following figure illustrate the symbolic representation for a payroll tps so students let's now summarize what we have learned in this module transaction processing system or cross functional information systems that process data resulting from occurrence of business transactions such as sales purchase deposit withdrawals refund and payments a tps also acts as the main link between organization and external entities such as customers suppliers distributors and regulatory agencies transaction processing minimize the organization cost by reducing the number of times the data must be handled and by providing timely updates to the database no hotel wants to lose business because the online reservation system is not available no bank would stake to lose business because the online reservation system is not available the bank may suffer huge volume loss if atms are out of order or the online transaction payment gateway does not respond hence the transaction processing system requires the most robust platforms transaction integrity is another factor of paramount importance it is the assurance that the results are being achieved whether transactions are processed using the laptop or mobile for serving a hotel room or booking a movie ticket or paying utility bills thank you